Welcome in guys to another Luck of the Irish episode. Uh, today, taking on New Zealand in the second test match. We were comprehensively beaten in the uh, first test. Uh, we just didn't quite do enough of the bat as, as expected. Uh, this game here, um, we're out for 117 in the first innings with Matt Henry 5 for 18. 3 for 23 for Ravindra and um, just nothing really to write home about. And injury to our experienced campaigner and keeper um, uh, Moore, Peter Moore. Uh, they got through to 248. We bowled quite well. I, I thought we fought back really well in this game. Uh, 6 for 78 for Little. Best bowling figures by a mile for him. 254 for Young, who was quite impressive. And 2 for 20 for Adair. Big workloads for the four main seamers who we stuck with throughout the game. Got to do the 237 in this innings. Uh, Sterling, 93 of 181. Get that gutted for him that he didn't get his first ever Test 100. Fighting 20s from Tector, Docker, and Young, but it just was never going to be enough when we've fallen that far behind. Uh, 3 for 45 for uh, Jamison, 256 for uh, Salvi, and 3 for 84 for Ravindra, and 107 for 1. They blitzed that total. Conway and Williamson were the stars of the show there, and just, yeah, like a wee bit to sort of improve on. We are going to go with a different squad here. Like, it's a good chance for some people to improve techniques. As you can see throughout, we are just giving these guys opportunities to improve all the time. Going to chuck a debut to Foster and McCarthy today, and it's going to be a great opportunity for them to sort of get going here. We did go with Morgan Topping um, in this game. Um, he deserved an opportunity on the back of his very good um, domestic form. Um, obviously, we had to bring Tucker in. So a few changes into the uh, team uh, today. But yeah, obviously a solid order. Our keeper will not be Balburnie. It'll be... Uh, Tucker and his uh, third appearance here. Tector's a wee bit out of form, so is Camper, but we've just got to give them the games, give them that experience that they very valuably need. But yeah, definitely need to get going in this game, and hopefully we can go all right. So Keen is uh, pretty much on debut for them. Uh, we will bowl first. New Zealand conditions are seamer friendly early on. We do need to get some early strikes. Let's see if we can do it. Foster. Um, Good opportunity for him to sort of show what he can do with the ball. We'll give him an extended spell. 70 without loss after 14. However, Conway and Bajvaka are starting off very nicely. We're going to have to contain a wee bit. George Dockrell in. One over for nine. And they're going at a very good pace here. George Dockrell. Wicket of Bajvaka. We really needed that wicket as they were... Um, Galloping along at a, <laughs> at a very efficient rate. It's got to rain around a wee bit, I think. I think the aggressiveness has to end. Just need to get a couple of strikes before the stri stroke of lunch. And we have, we've got Conway up too. Conway getting through to 57. 32 years of age, Conway now. But his stats are just remarkable. 1100s, 850s, average is 60 there. 350s, um, uh, 300s, 750s there. And he's... Just the classy, um, classy, classy batsman to get out. So good fight back from Ireland there. 134 for two. Yes, Doc will just getting through a good amount of overs here for us. Um, we'll camp for in. A few overs. Zero for 12. Josh Little will be back in to the attack. Foster into the attack. And Foster, he will get his first test wickets. A good breakthrough. It's good to see some young talent making their way through the ranks here. He's 23 years of age. His stats show that he's performed in our domestic scene. He'll get a go. He's around a wee bit of experience. That's just the main thing. Josh Little, he's just not having a day to remember. Bring Mark Adair in. And mccarthy has been quite expensive as well. 229 for 3 out to 56 overs. Williamson moves to 72. 350 is at the top of the order for New Zealand. Now, as we just look to probably just try to contain as best we can, Foster back into the attack again. And Foster, he's got another wicket. He's got the wicket of Mitchell. Daryl Mitchell gone for 31. Just a little, he will have to try and cover these stats a little bit. He does. He gets the wicket of Kane Williamson at an important time. New Zealand. Starting to accelerate a wee bit. Williamson out for 96. Would have been Williamson's 25th uh, Test 100. 
you get a wee bit of value out of Curtis Camper and Little, but they've just been so expensive. Techno and for some part time spin, although he's been taken to a bit as well, so that'll be his spell ending. Carvey will take the new ball, bowl a little bit aggressively with the new ball to try and pick up some wickets. Foster the pick of the bowlers today. So they end day one, New Zealand 371 for five. A good dominant display from a very, very experienced side. As you can see, Conway Williams have been around a long time. Latham Nichols, Mitchell sort of played 20 test matches now. He's sort of got some good numbers to him as well. Uh, this guy here is a really prestige talent um, as well. So, yeah, good day for them, really. Um, we need some strikes early on in the day. It's got to improve. Yeah. This is a good partnership. Really bowled them two into a stand still, really. We've just got to try and manage our other bowlers. Mark Adair will get the wicket of Tom Latham. Took a part for 93. Now the attack, George Dockrell back in. Just looking to sort of contain New Zealand. Just showing their class, their um, test history. Just, I really should say, they should really dominate Ireland. We're all picking for another wicket. Gets the wicket of Matt Henry. Gone for 14, Matt Henry. Mark Adair will pick up the wicket of Jamison. 15, he's got 3 for 90 now, Mark Adair. We're going to bring back Foster. And Mark Adair will pick up a Pfeiffer. So he'll be happy with that. Just gets Nichols for 99. Oh, he'd be so gutted, Henry Nichols. That would have been his 11th um, 100. Three scores in the 90s, five scores over 50. New Zealand get to 501 all out. A good fighting effort from Ireland. With the standout, obviously, Mark Adair. He's taking 22 wickets at 18, Mark Adair. He's pretty good at this um, form of the game. Pretty happy with um, how Matthew Foster performed on debut, performed admirably. But yeah, just some of the... Josh Little, too expensive, and Camper took... We just had to bowl our main sort of four guys a wee bit too much. So Valbroni and Sterling put a good performance in with the bat. Obviously some world-class bowlers. Salvi gets it into a good area and Tim Salvi thought I, he was in all the wickets here. Average is 28.5. 368 wickets, Tim Salvi. Five test matches away from 100 test matches. Incredible player. Zealand, he gets a wicket to Sterling. Sterling gone for three. Brings Morgan Topping in. But we're already gone too. So Ireland really struggling now. Just got to play some positive cricket, I think. And Tector will depart two for one. So Ireland are very much in trouble here. 15 for three. Just being shown up a wee bit here. Out for naught here is Camford. Tucker now. It's come in. It's a lot of hoop. A lot of swing around. Topping gets that away for four. Tucker out now. 28 for 5. It's not looking good. 33 for 5. Ireland after 18. 15 topping. Next top score is 3. Doc will um, see that he's got the second top score of the innings. And we beat our last score, which was 38 against um, England. But the, just the level... That you have to be at test level is just really exposing some of these batsmen. Topping, he'll go for a 20 of 69. He fought hard. But yeah, it's looking likely we'll be bundled out for less than 100 and we'll be asked to bat again. Will there be some resilience here? Good shot from Mark Adair. He can bat um, to his credit. He's a sort of a lower water batsman. Played a little bit there. 350 is average, average of 20. Um, high score of 91. Can do it. With the bat. He's been dropped. Scampered through for a single there. Good shot from Dockrell. There's nothing to really write home about in this uh, test uh, so far. It's 
good experience for uh, Keen. Ninety-seven for six. Forty-nine over. So dear top scoring at the moment with thirty. Dockwell twenty-six. Games around the ground. We'll have we look. Sri Lanka putting up a reasonable performance there. Bangladesh Zimbabwe looks like uh, Zimbabwe are probably going to lose that match. India being sort of pummeled on that one. So happening in the test arena at the moment. We had to start again after the um, start of play in hundred and one. Ah, uh, for six. It's out for 36. So it was a good resilient effort there from Mark Adair. He's departed. We're all just proving again that his, the show and his batting's come a long way. He's hanging in there at the moment. are in now so 129 for eight now at least we didn't get absolutely bundled out anyway like it's been a wee bit of a fighting effort from especially Adair and Dockrell they put on a decent partnership as Foster gets amongst the runs he's trying to show his credentials 150 for eight it's a good shot Let's cut that nicely on top of the bounce four runs Henry, he will strike. Foster, it's entertaining. 23 or 36 comes to an end. Gotta give Docker as a chance to get his 50 here. Yeah, he's been dropped. He's got to survive a ball here. And he's been dropped again. <laughs> Doc roll. And there he is. He's sort of put one on the gap. He's got the 50. Of 161 deliveries, so that is his third 50 of his career. Average is 62.29. Um, sort of a brilliant blossoming um, George Dockrell here. He is putting up some really good numbers. I have to admit, his career has really taken off in the batting department. <laughs> so he gets the final breakthrough, and we've been asked to follow on again. Now they're going to bat. They're going to bat New Zealand, so a change of tactic. Something that you normally don't see. We have to be quite defensively. Sort of trying to defend as much as we can. Barry McCarthy, he'll get his uh, first wicket, I believe, at the test level. Yes, he has. Congratulations, Barry McCarthy. Joins an exclusive Irish club at the moment. He gets another wicket. He'll get the wicket of Conway. Josh Little. A wicket there of Johnson. So it's Josh Little's just slowly acclimatizing to test level. He's bowled another good delivery. Gets the wicket of Daryl Mitchell. Mark Deer. So I'm trying to get on with things. Williamson's still there with Latham. Tenable day three. 129 for four. New Zealand lead by 460. Another wicket for Foster. Okay, I'm happy with how Foster's been going in this game. He's got the wicket of Kane Williamson for 34. And you pick up the wicket of Tom Latham. So 134 for 6. This has been good from Ireland. Foster going around the wicket to Henry. And Henry will be up for 3. Mark Adair. Uh, you have to bring George Stock run for a little bit now. Can he sort of contain? Does a good job here. It's a massive lead. Been a better bowling effort, however. Dick was out for 48. Stock will just sneaking a few past the bat here. He's had a pretty good test match. Second wicket. And Foster will pick up a four for So New Zealand out for 215. We need 546. We need to make world record pace uh, to get the um, result. We're not going to get it, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm really happy um, for Matthew Foster. Um, I think we've found a good young talent here that will probably find his way into the one-day team as well. Uh, yeah, like I said, George Dock will finishing off quite strongly there as well. But yeah, just those numbers. I'm being really impressed with him. 
Rightio, so what can we do off the bat? Can we put a respectful uh, fourth innings chase in? Sterling's been dropped. Day three. some positivity 300 it's 300 out of the question for us can we put something together just in the last um, innings of this series really just another wee learning curve but there's been some good moments with the ball which is good batting's just just been shown up a wee bit by the classy bowling unit good um, delivery from Jamison in the right area Sterling will go for 18 Morgan Topping. It's a good shot. Good to see him amongst the runs. Bell Bernie, he's just he has to learn the level. That's what a lot of the Irish cricketers will have to do. Like we just don't get enough test matches to really give these guys the out and out experience they need, but any experience you can sort of get in this team just gonna help yeah just for example josh little in his sixth test match 16 wickets he's had a few good moments just need him to keep his indian contract and just the more crickety plays the better he will get to topping four runs 82 for one Played some positive cricket here, Ireland. Um, Want to finish the tour off pretty strongly. Topping, he will be dismissed for 24. It's a struggling Harry Tector to the crease. He's got 100 in his career. That's his only significant score. And he's just hasn't really done too much in the other innings. Bernie. Is being dismissed. Sally gets it in a good channel. 113 for three. Just building that partnership. Tector hits that away. Tector hits that away again. That's four more. Tector gone for 36. He'll be kicking himself out there. He's looking quite good there. He just sees something out of our keepers too. Come on, Tucker. You just got to just kickstart your career. Nothing really much riding home in this game. Going to get comprehensively beaten. Uh, Camper, pretty lucky there. Streaky shot, four runs. He will go for 28 again, a start, and not kicking on. 200 up for Ireland as Doc Paul gets the boundary. It's been a wee bit more of a um, performance here from Ireland at the very least in this innings. The talent's certainly there. It's a, it's a generation of cricketers that will probably struggle a little bit, but there's going to be some series that will target and try and win outright. It's just not against these good teams at the moment where we can sort of foot it on a regular basis. But we've had moments in the series where I thought we've been on top. It's a good shot from George Shockrell. Two fifty for five. See, so rocks off the back foot, gets the boundary. It's a 50 for Curtis Camper. One of the talents in our team. He sort of is getting that average just above 30 again. But he's made a promising start to his international career. 24 years of age. I think you'll get another 10 years out of Curtis Camper at, for Ireland anyway. End of day four, 286 to win for Ireland. Taking it to the last day. Very rarely get a test of day five in these colours but 
Go see off the first lot of overs and see if we can get um, settled in with these two. Good delivery. Curtis Camper. His good innings comes to an end. 61 of 184. He res resisted for such a long time. He will depart. Mark Adira now. Just need Mark Adira to start averaging around that 20 mark. Got to tick some boxes this campaign. It's a good shot. 300 up. I oh, We got our goal anyway. So now it's just trying to increase that goal. And that's another 50 for George Dockrell. I am so impressed with how remarkable his career is as jump shooted from a guy that I thought would get a, maybe an odd game out of him here and then to someone that's going to be just a regular in the team. He's got all four 50s in his four test matches. This is really positive. It's going to be a good number seven, I think, as long as we can keep improving him. Good shot. Gets it away for four. Shot again. Mark D gets... He's getting into it here, Mark D. 37 off 39. He's ramped that beautifully. It's gone all the way for six. It's a good partnership, this one. He's put up a half century marker there. This is good batting. Exceptional. He scored quickly. Played some really positive cricket here. It's fastest 50 against New Zealand too. You just continue to um, continue to swing and um, continue to provide entertainment for the crowd. So gets that one way for four. It's drifted into the pads. He's gone now, Mark Adair. That's a good delivery, delivery from Jamison. 56 of 75. A good batting effort, really. Three eighty for 7. George Dockrell's stumps have been absolutely smashed. And half he's gone for 76, Dockrell. He hung in there for a long period of time. Another good effort from him. 382 for 8. 382 for 9. The innings is sort of wrapping up pretty quickly. I'm pretty happy with this tour, actually. We had our moments where we um, have batted quite well, we bowled quite well in patches, but that, that's, that was good resilience. So 50 is there. 46 at the top. Nichols man this um, match there. But yeah, we've got um, the rest of this tour, obviously. Um, some of the other guys will get probably maybe opportunities there. We're 12th in all the formats. Our next itinerary will be the tour of Sri Lanka and we'll probably play the we'll probably we've had a lot of one day internationals we'll probably split the episode into a one day international and the 20 over international so we can incorporate some of that so see us then guys smash the like button share with a friend we'll see you next time